Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Special Hobby. So this kit is molded in 170 second scale and you can notice it copies Harvard MCAT 2, 2A and 2B. That's a British Commonwealth Air Training Plan as it's written on the box art. And we have a commercial sample here so it means you will get exactly the same stuff and that's the final shape of this kit. And you can notice the small writing below the kit's name so we have academy t6 texan plastic parts with new injected resin and pe conversion parts kit number is sh72447 and box size is standard for this brand here you can see comparison with my hand well on the box art you can actually see the marking options which are included here so there are five of them and the overall design of the box is quite bright for a special hobby, but that's a good thing in my opinion. Here on the side we have some information where it was made, and on the opposite side you'll find some safety advices and of course address of the manufacturer here and website. So this is a top opening box and here is what we have inside. And of course all parts and decals they come in the same plastic bag we also have assembly menu on the bottom obviously we will start with plastic and then gradually we will move on to the assembly menu and other things and by the way i would like to remind you that you can support us with a small donation because we have a special support dsv button on our desktop version of the website so if you would like to send us a small donation just click it it will redirect you to the paypal website and you pick the amount you would like to send us via this paypal so inside the plastic bag we had another plastic bag as you can see that's a typical academic packaging and now i'm trying to open it because it's a sealed plastic bag so i'm going to tear through it and then we'll check what is actually supplied here. Okay, it's a bit tough to tear it apart. I forgot my knife in the other room. So, we have clear parts here. I won't show them because, I mean, I won't open them because they won't be used for this particular version of aircraft. They will just stay in your spare parts box, so there is no uh, use in spending or wasting time on them. We are going to start with this gray plastic sprue. So if we zoom in, you can notice in the middle Academy logo and also there is a year 1998, which is quite impressive, I would say. Some of you might feel old when they will see this number. And we are going to start with this corner. So of course this set was released as a separate kit by Academy. So now we have a now I would say upgraded set and here you can see one piece calling section we also have engine insert and next we continue with the fuselage half so both fuselage halves they are molded together with the tail fin and rudder so be careful while joining all this stuff together but you can see that external features are more or less nice I think some of you might even have some experience with this plastic if camera view focus, yeah, now you should be able to see this recess panel lines and rivets. Next, here we have tail wings which are molded together with elevators. We continue with the cockpit floor and propeller. And another fuselage half. Here we have some parts for the cockpit. So as you can see, these are cockpit walls. And as far as I remember, there is no PE, at least I did not see it. Maybe it is packed with decals. Just give me a second. So there is a small PE set, so obviously it won't upgrade the whole cockpit, but still it will be something to install into the model. Inside fuselage halves we have guiding elements, and as you can see there is almost no cockpit features, because they will be copied with these separate walls, which we saw a few seconds ago. Okay. Next we continue with another large plastic sprue, so we are going to start like this, we won't be zooming out, because here, for example, you can see air intakes, we also have two halves for the wing, and of course air um, ailerons are pre-molded, so you won't be able to move them a lot, we have also recessed panel lines, we have 
the engine gear parts here so as you can see tail engine gear leg is molded together with the wheel and we have also main engine gear legs which are molded without wheels and that might be useful in case you plan to upgrade this set with resin wheels and if you flip it over inside you can see some guiding elements for these swings which is also a good thing because it will make it easier to assemble these parts together and another sprue the last gray plastic sprue here we have a pilot and machine gunner seats well machine gunner second pilot seat and next we continue with ailerons molded in on the lower wing half and here you can see one piece landing gear wheels and instrument panel but again i would rather replace them with a resin part which will look even better and believe me it will be noticeable in 170 second scale so do not underestimate such upgrade next we continue with the new parts from special hobby so they come in a separate plastic bag and as you remember i said in the beginning of this video review so we will not need a resin actually clear parts from the original plastic kit so here you can see the new parts which will have to be used maybe i'll try to bring them closer so that you can understand what we are talking about because molding quality is noticeably better but there are no masks included so if you would like to cover all these small squares you either you will have to get an aftermarket set or you will have to do everything with your own hands but molding quality is quite nice and another thing which is new and it comes from special hobby set of these resin parts so again I'm going to open this small ziplock bag and we will check everything together so what do we have here frankly speaking I'm not even sure where these parts will go I guess these ones will go into the um, internal features into the cockpit this is obviously an exhaust tube and here we have two new control sticks which look good but you have to be careful because as you can see in comparison with my fingertip these are really thin and tiny parts so it will be a bit tricky to install them without necessary tools next we continue with another plastic bag this one is dedicated to decals and as far as you can see decals there is no mention where they are printed so um, I'm not sure where they were made but printing quality looks fine so I don't think you have any issues here but first of all let me show you the PE thread which I mentioned in the beginning so here it is it's unpainted PE thread and as you can see we have seat belts here and also a an, uh, target site I guess so all this items come as a standard bonus and some modders would be happy to see unpainted parts because this might be a bit more useful for modelers who would like to have their own paint work on the seat belts and next we continue with decals so here we have all necessary symbols for five marking options as you remember and printing quality is really good i don't have anything to complain about here we also have some dials for the instrument panel so it's just a matter of careful application and you will be good to go there are also some minor stencils but this is a 170 second scale some manufacturers don't even bother with including such stuff into their kits and next we continue with assembly manual so this one is printed in form of small brochure we have short history note on the first page and you can see it's written in two languages next we continue with um, parts map and also here we have a paint chart then assembly starts with pilot seats so you have to install these PE seat belts and then you install this uh, pilot seats onto the cockpit floor and this is actually this resin part it connects together with these control sticks which is quite interesting solution next we continue with uh, um, joining cockpit walls together with the cockpit floor and then you install all this stuff into the fuselage note that you have to cut off the uh, some portion of the original plastic part so be ready for that and do this operation without any hurrying next we continue with the uh, front section of the cooling as you can see you will have to paint it inside so do not forget about it so that you won't have a really <laughs> great part inside as some others do next we continue with wing parts here you have to combine these three parts together 
And next we start working with the canopy, so it will be up to you whether you would like to have an open or closed canopy. As you remember we have a one piece tail wings and next we install various minor elements here and there, air intake, now also engine gear, it's so uh, engine lights. And here we have pitot tube, which will depend on the marking option you choose. One more thing is obviously the Landing gear and here we have exhaust Next we have two marking options So this one is from 1943 This one is from Well I do not see any year mentioned so I guess maybe from the same time Here we have another aircraft from 1944 24th of June And one more is from 1958 Interesting, it was fine till 1958 and here we have it in a version from 1942 and yellow aircraft, it comes from India and it's 1944-1945. And here we have two other kits which are molded in the same scale, they might be interesting for you and you can check them in our video reviews on our YouTube channel and here we have two more kits and some other resin accessories for these kits and other models. As for today's set it should be already available, you can get it on official special hobby website. Of course I will be happy to hear your opinion about such a list, do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual, thank you for joining me today and bye!